this is Animat, and welcome back to the Muppet Vlog. Now this time we're going to be looking into the 24th episode of The Muppet Show, which includes the Mummin Shans. Now, I'm pretty sure that there is a 95% chance that you guys have absolutely no clue who the Mummin Shans are. They are actually a group of stage performers who are mostly recognized by using these creative and more abstract masks that are mostly made out of materials that you never thought that you can actually make as masks and actually professionally go out and perform as them. They could be made of um, anything from any household objects, they could be made of clay, they could be made of paper, but either way, they are actually a very creative group that uses these masks and go out and do these pantomime acts that result in some very hilarious, very beautiful, and some highly enjoyable acts. Now, the best way to put the Mom and Shots is that they are what it is to pantomime, like what the Blue Man Group is to music. We're dealing with that sort of wackiness, humor, and creativity over here. And I gotta say, for the episode, ever since I was a kid, I adored it. Even to this day, I find this to be pro probably the most underrated episode of The Muppet Show, which really is a shame, and it's kind of a shame that the Mum and Shans really aren't as popular as they are, because I could so imagine that they could still perform to this day, or even just make YouTube videos based on these masks, and they could be like a sensation. They really, really are. And uh, I think to start things off, I gotta say that like, the real show stealers are definitely the special guest stars. I mean, they are completely out there. This is pretty much a, an act. Like, this is a group of people, a group of special guests that are unlike anything that they have ever gotten. I mean, the closest thing that they have, that the Muppets has ever received from this is Richard Bradshaw when he did the Shadow Puppetry when Ethel Merman was a guest star. But that's the thing. Richard Bradshaw only came in for one little sketch. This is pretty much the entire show. This is pretty much the special guest stars of this episode. And every time they come up here, it's just phenomenal. It, it's only them that somehow they could surpass the level of amazement and creativity than what the Muppets can do. And like with the with the masks that they do, like just made out of household objects, it, it feels like even you can go out and make something as wacky and amazing as the masks of the Mum and Shans. Like there was this first act where they would perform with just paper and like each paper, like each time they rip it off, it's like a new facial expression from the eyes or the mouth. And then there's another one, there's another one where Kermit would just talk with them and like they have these, the, the, like they have these different masks made out of just household objects where one of them just shoots bubbles, one would make their eyes grow because of a, of a balloon or like have these like, you, um, you know, like these party streamers, like, ah! like the, those things. And then there's another one. It's like you, you just open its mouth and it comes out a ball. And they're just so much fun. And then there's a, like probably the, the one to really top it all off. The best one that they have done is probably the ending bit where they have these masks and they're made of clay. Now, of course, clay masks are very common. No, 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 no. This is like fresh clay. Like they, they pretty much mold their faces. That was a lot of fun, and I'm just sitting there wondering, how is this not a trend? How is this not, like, some kind of form of art where, like, people are performing with these masks, and they can pretty much transform their faces as they continue on? That's just amazing. It really is a phenomenal performance, and truly, it's the highlight of the entire episode. That sketch alone is just amazing, and I would love to see... Uh, stuff done more to it. It's it's amazing. Uh, honestly, like, in a way, I guess with this episode alone, I kind of see the Mum and Shans just like how I see Fantasia, where the, the use of what they're doing, like, the use of their performance, rather it be through animation mixed with classical music or pantomime mixed with these creative masks made of clay and stuff like that, it's just amazing. It's so phenomenal, and it's just beautiful and artistic within itself that 
Like, it makes me wonder, how is there not more people making something like this? It's just amazing. And the best part about it is, is that, yes, the Mom and Shans are definitely amazing, but also the episode within itself, it's also amazing as well. Like, even without the Mom and Shans. Um, it is honestly one of the funniest episodes that there is out there. Because there's actually a love triangle co going on with uh, Kermit, Miss Piggy, and Gonzo, where... Like, you see Gonzo, and keep in mind, this was before the times of Camilla, where Gonzo is just head over heels over Miss Piggy. Miss Piggy just wants to be in love with Kermit, and Kermit just wants to get away, just wants to get away from it, so he wants to help out Gonzo to get Miss Piggy. It, it's honestly one of the funniest episodes I've seen, and these are, like, legit, laugh out loud hilarious. It is just fantastic. Great punchlines, both metaphorically and even literally from Miss Piggy. Um, they're just, it's such an amazing episode. And, you know, it's funny that, like, they didn't continue, like, some kind of weird love triangle. Not necessarily with Gonzo, but, like, maybe with another character. But nowadays, with how Kermit and Miss Piggy are legit in love with each other, like, Kermit needs Piggy and Piggy needs Kermit. Like, I guess it doesn't work, like, nowadays, but... Uh, well, I mean, like, if they want to revive that thing, it doesn't work, but back then, like, this episode, it was definitely hilarious. It's definitely fantastic with what they have done. Um, as for the other segments, uh, well, I guess they're not really as memorable, but they, they are pretty cute within itself. There is one scene in the library where you just see, like, some of the Muppets, including Fozzie, Miss Piggy, Hilda, and Nigel, uh, the guy leading the orchestra, like, they're pretty much making noises in a library, which ends up making this little classical, like, the classical music. I forgot what it's called, but you, you know the one that I'm talking about. Like, -na 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 like that bit. And then, um, also, there, like, the Venda face does make a comeback where uh, they, they would try to rearrange Statler's face. And also, there, there's one little bit with Wayne and Wanda, and I guess, and also another one with the Muppet News Flash, and also at the dance. And, um, yeah, that's basically the whole episode, but... Oh, wait, no, there is also another... There's actually one that is a legit musical number. Well, actually, two, I just realized. Like, I, I just, like, sorry, it's just that the rest of the episode was just so amazing. There are, there are a few little things I completely forgot about, like... There, there are some song numbers, and they are pretty legit good. Like, you see uh, Floyd and the Electric Mayhem, and along with Scooter, they were all singing Mr. Bassman, and that was a lot of fun. And then there's another one where it's called When I'm Not Near the Fish I Love, where you see this, like, Muppet eel fish, sing like, singing on a green screen with all the other fish. It, it's probably one of the first ones that I've seen where they legit use a green screen, and that one is, like, that one is actually pretty cool, and... Um, it does showcase, like, what's gonna be to come when they're going to use the green screen a lot more. Uh, that one is actually pretty cool as well. But to go into overall, this is definitely one of the must-watch episodes of The Muppet Show. It is so phenomenal. Uh, the, like, the aspect with the Muppets are absolutely hilarious. The aspect with the special guest stars is just mind-blowing and probably one of the best special guest stars that they have ever had. It's so crazy. And, like, even the other little bits here and there, they're also enjoyable. So, overall, this is a phenomenal episode. This is one of the best there is out there. Like, th this is right up there with uh, Vincent Price and Ethel Merman. This is probably one of the best episodes of the entire series. So, I highly recommend that you guys check out this episode. It is just so phenomenal. Um, it, it's just, I love it. I love every single bit of it. And, you know, it's just, it's one of the biggest, it's like definitely one of my personal highlights and why I really love this series. It's just amazing. When the Muppets really nailed it, they, they can truly nail it and they can give out something that's absolutely phenomenal. And that is pretty much it for not just this episode, but also for the entire first season of The Muppet Show. So, tune in next time and we will find out if the first season of The Muppet Show really holds up, or if it's something that it's ob it obviously shows that it needs a bit of a tune-up in order to create the Muppets that we all know today. So, 
How is it going to be? Well, we'll just have to wait and see into, into the entire Season 1 review of The Muppet Show. So, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you for going through with me with the first season of The Muppet Show. So, until next time, see you later, dudes. Thank you.